Sue! Welcome to episode 4 of my player review series on NHL 22. Today we got a big boy of a player. It's 93 team of the year, Miko Rantanen. Let's take a look at this card. Rantanen's coming in at 6'4", 215. He's got three synergies all having two to each. So I got Fly the Zone on him, Booming Shot, and Magician. Gives him some agility boost. So his agility goes to 99, speed 91, slap shot power 97. His hands are pretty much 99 everywhere, except for hand, eye, and passing. Body checking 91, strength 95, aggression 88, durability 97, fighting skill 80. So we're not going to be fighting with him very much. 71 face-offs, 93 defensive awareness is not too bad. 87 discipline. We're really going to notice the strength. He's a big body. He's going to be, be able to protect the puck a lot. What I want to see is I know he's going to be able to score. He's going to be able to hold the puck. Is I have wheels on him. And he's got 91 speed now. I want to see if he can really fly. If he's going to be able to nang, this card is going to be unstoppable. Let's get into the highlights. Game one with Rantanen. Let's see what this big fella can do. Well, there's an assist for him already. Holy McDavid. That was a scuffed pass, but I mean, Jesus, what a shot. He's on the board 50 seconds into his debut. Oh my God. What a shot. I like that he comes in to pick it up. Oh, he drew a penalty already. And I think we're getting a rage quit. We're going to have to move on to game two already, aren't we? Yep, game two it is. Game two, let's see if we can get through the first period. At least we could see Ranson was buzzing in that first game, which led him to leave. So. Here he goes, breakaway. He got tripped, P shot. I wouldn't have scored there either. There you go, Rantan looking for his first. There he goes. Rantan's first is on a penalty shot. He was kind of there to be fair. There's too much force on that shot. What a play from the boys. Ranton and McDavid link up is going to be crazy. What a goal. What a goal. His hands feel insane. That's one thing I'm noticing here. His hands feel crazy good. Low energy end to end rush for Miko. The wrap. The wrap glitch from Miko for his hat trick. No energy. He was protecting the puck pretty well. I'm not going to lie. Post from Rant. Puck protection. Oh, good try. 
He's still on it. Back door to Forsberg. What a play from Rantanen. His strength shows. Unstoppable force shows too. What a play. What a play. He's in again. Back door to McDavid. Goalie says no. Goes down on Rantanen. He cuts out front. Back skate. Oh, I was supposed to go back to him. Game three. Rantanen uh, picked up a few points last game. See if he can uh, keep on a roll for this one. This guy's not here, so. Might be a pen. Big hit from him though. I respect it. We'll see if he can get something done. Why did he wait so long to shoot? What the hell's he doing? There we go, speed down the wing. Oh, good try from Rantanen. He's facing the wrong way. How does that... What? Eats that hit. Good try. It's a big save. But it's a huge save. Game four with Rantanen. Last game was cut pretty short. The guy left after like the second goal, I want to say. So let's see. Uh, let's see how we do here. to cone him. First line's back out, Rantanen. Draws a pen. We love to see it. We take power plays over here. We take power plays. Of course, every time we'll take a power play. What a save, dude. He's lucky. Big save. Ew, Rantanen. You don't have to do him like that. He's showing off. He is showing off. Hey, he got him. No way. He got him to quit after that goal. Is that the first goal of the game? I believe it was. The power of Rantanen. No, second, I lied. The power of Rantanen. Alrighty, game five. Depending on how this game goes, I may do a sixth game. Because we haven't had the longest amount of time using Rantanen so far. So, we'll see what happens in this one. And we'll decide if we have to use a sixth game or not.
McDavid down the wing across to Ranton. What a save on his backhand, though, to be fair. Oh, big shot. Good puck protect. Oh my god, imagine he sniped that short side. Oh, I need that to go in, Ranton, and no. That's such a good chance. Ranton down the wall with the speed. Good try. It's loose. McDavid's fighting for it. A little poke by Rant. Off the wall. Snipe. Nope. Big save. His shot doesn't seem to be his strong suit. I'm not going to lie. Nice pass. Nice save. He's dead tired. Looked him. Can't even get up. Yeah, I don't know. Like, the his shot animation doesn't seem like it's good. He's probably good on one tees and stuff and, like, making plays happen. I don't think he's going to be a lethal scorer, though. So after the five games, Ranton comes out with four goals, two assists, six points. He was a plus four, no penalties. He drew a few penalties, which was good. Um, to be honest, his speed was great. That wasn't like a factor in anything. The shot let me down. I expected him to make a lot more snipes than he did with the stats he's got. His hands were pretty much perfect. Uh, his size, like his ability to um, hold guys off the puck and puck protect probably top tier probably the best card I've used in the whole game for that um, but comparing him to like a top top left-handed winger like McDavid I'd probably give the edge to McDavid he's, he's just elite there's nothing wrong with with a McDavid card where this guy's his scoring ability for Rantanen is just not there so out of 10 I'm gonna give him an eight and a half maybe a nine but I'm gonna stick with eight and a half because he's not at that elite level like McDavid is. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.